Welcome to Good Mythical More. If you wanted to know which Betty Crocker frosting is the best, well, you about to find out along with us. But first, we want to say congratulations to Anna B. You are our hashtag merchicality winner because you're repping that mythical merch out in the wild. That means you get a $30 mythical.com gift card. Use it on yourself, give it to your 30, friend. You said $30 mythical.com gift card. Gift card. card. Mythical? We don't say mythical.store anymore because mythical.com is where the store is. No, it, it, it was right, but it didn't sound right. Hmm. Okay, well, you know, new year, new guy. Um, we have strawberry mist, cream cheese, mm. chocolate, buttercream, lemon, milk chocolate, vanilla, and cherry. Ch they're just cherry. Have you guys had any of these before? I had a number of these, and I actually really. Um, I mean, yeah, I, I, th I think I can predict what wins. Don't you I, like just put this on a cake? Well, I would assume. Does Lily put? I does she not make hers from scratch? Does um, she use Betty Crocker? Lily's not nearly as into baking as she used to, but it's still a part of our life at home. It's still a part of her life. Um, but what I access is when I was little, my nana. I spent a lot of time with my at my nana's house, and she would make a lot of cakes. And then, like you lick it. She still does. She'll she'll ship us a cake uh, cross country for every birthday. No matter how close together those birthdays are, they get their own cake. Uh, but as a kid, you know, she, this is the type of frosting she would get, Betty Crocker, and she and I would just eat it out of the tub, along with eating the raw batter all along the way while she would make the cake. So I actually made a, a lot of cakes, or watched my nana do it a lot as a kid. Well, you know what? I'm proud of you because I thought that you were gonna tell a story and be like, I hate this stuff. <laughs> oh, I hate it. <laughs> and be, no. And be like, I can't, people who like to eat this stuff straight, I just don't get that. I, you I, know what? Let, you know I like it. <laughs> I'm uh, gonna propose, let's, let's predict an order, then taste them and then change them without any pride on the line of, of, of being right. Uh, well, I know you hate cherry flavored. So, and lemon. I hate it, lemon. And I'm not a huge fan of lemon. I like cherry, but it, it seems a little bit odd as a as an icing. We're gonna put those towards. I the think end. buttercream is gonna be the top. Buttercream has got to be towards the beginning. Um, chocolate's pretty decent. Vanilla is gonna be in the middle. I yeah. think cream cheese is gonna be the winner. Oh, I didn't know cream cheese was an option. Cream and it's and it's. Do you agree? And it's rich and creamy. Now listen, the buttercream is whipped, which is different. Which is a lighter. Oh. There's air introduced into it, so this is gonna be tough. What is this now? I got chocolate and milk chocolate. I think um I think I don't know which one's gonna be better of that. I think strawberry I mist. Think, I think vanilla is gonna be better than chocolate, but not as good as milk chocolate. That's an odd call, but you know what? We can go with it. So then we've got the losers over here. Let's taste the losers. Okay. You know those like thick pretzel sticks, like not like the little wimpy ones, but like the ones that are like, you know, substantial. We used to dip those in. Betty Crocker that, frosting. That sounds like a really? good idea. Dang. So good. I still like it, but. Yeah, they've nailed it. My sons. They've nailed lemon. I, I that really tastes like lemon. I haven't turned them off to lemon. They love lemon flavored stuff. A lemon bar, like a lemon bar dessert, I really like that. Do we think that cherry is going to be better than the lemon, or are we already wrong? It's prettier than lemon. Ooh, that's got a fakey, a fakey. Worse than lemon. All right, so we're already wrong. Definitely worse than lemon. Guys, I have some very interesting Betty Crocker facts that I'm going to turn into trivia questions. Well, be careful. I know a lot about Betty Crocker. I wrote a term paper on her. Did you? No. <laughs> Strawberry God, mist is our God, first whip. you think whipped. it for a second, though. Oh, so much, so much easier to dip. Oh, it's so whipped. What's the first question? Okay. Betty Crocker. That's good. Started in 1921. Started, she was born in 1921? The the company. Oh. But. <laughs> you say born. No. I started in 1977. But when did Betty Crocker pass away? 1929, she was, uh, we don't know, how, that's when the company started. Company right? started in 1921. Betty Crocker, let it be known. There's no picture on here of Betty. It's little known that Betty Crocker started it and then died very soon after. 
It's, it's actually very strange that it became such a big deal because she died like, she died in 1931. She died at the height of the Depression. Uh, it's a trick question. Betty is not a person. Link! You're right. Um, really? So, yeah, so in 1921... No, she's Chris Crocker's great-great-grandmother. Gold Medal Flower ran a promotion Chris offering Crocker. shoppers a pincushion shaped like sack of flour if they could solve a jigsaw puzzle. And when Gold Medal's parent company, Washburn Crosby Co., received thousands of responses along with questions about baking, they decided to develop a warm, fictitious personality to represent the brand. They came up with Betty Crocker. Did Chris Crocker warm, ever, huh? ever do a Betty Crocker brand deal? <laughs> and if not, why not? Rich and creamy vanilla. Uh, I, I almost would say that that strawberry is better than the chocolate. I don't like the strawberry flavor. I like. I, I appreciate the whippiness of it, but the chocolate is really just doing it for me. Okay, so just because Betty doesn't actually exist didn't keep her from having one of the most popular that's really good. pieces of content yeah, in pieces of in content. all the land. <laughs> yeah, the one where she cried real real hard. Was it a TV show, a radio show, or a film that uh, Betty she Crocker had, a radio had show, that was popular? The Crocker it's called uh, <clears throat> the Crocker Hour. And uh, she, uh, someone, not her, she didn't exist, you said, someone gave recipes over the air. You said this, you said this started in, what did she say, what year did Vanilla is better than chocolate. You were right. But I don't know if this one was right. Um, the milk chocolate. I think it's radio because they would have, you know, they would have these sponsors that it would seem like it was the Betty Crocker radio hour, but it's, you know, it's just sponsored. Yeah, it was radio. Um, was it the Crocker hour? It was called. That's it better than chocolate. They the but the it's not company as good as not as good as vanilla bought a radio station in 1924 and launched the Betty Crocker Cooking School of the Air. <laughs> of the air. <laughs> of the air. Yeah, because it's on the airwaves. Where what? listeners could tune in for helpful kitchen tips. From... Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Somebody got into Crocker. Somebody's been into the buttercream. Somebody's cream. been into the buttercream. Somebody's been got their fingers in the buttercream. It's a little disquieting how it. Let me see. Look at me. Look. Let me, let me look. look at me. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Somebody's been in that buttercream. Well, let's taste it. We're going to eat it anyway. I don't know if it was somebody at the store or Stevie, somebody. you were saying? They got an actress to play Betty Crocker, and she offered helpful kitchen tips. And NBC picked up the show and aired it nationwide, and it was one of the longest running radio programs in U.S. history. What, what was the content? It was helpful kitchen tips from an actress that doesn't know how to cook. Oh, I think vanilla is better than butter. I, I do too. How is that possible? Because the thickness of it, I prefer over the whipped. You need the thickness. So that means that this cream cheese is probably going to be the best thing. Woo! Um, you know what? I might even think that this is not as good as the milk chocolate. I could get down with that. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. Cake and frosting were not what Betty Crocker was originally all about. Yeah, she, she was had a for the slow cooking. What? That's the original crock pot. It was called the Crocker pot, and then it was later shortened to crock pot. You eat you eat so much icing with each dip. I just want you to be aware, but it's too late. I want to taste it. What was the first Betty Pro Crocker product? It was like a Foreman grill. Betty Crocker grill. A blender. No, it was. It's a food product I'm looking for. Oh. Is it sweet? It was a pie. Is it real sweet? Or is it savory? It was. It. It, it, it was a pie. I stick by my. A savory. It was a savory pie. They can be savory. <clears throat> um. Lard. <laughs> Betty Crocker lard. Just straight lard. No, it was soup actually. And she didn't come out, she didn't, they didn't come out with uh, their first cake mix until 1947. What was the flavor of cake mix? Plain. Um, just plain, it was just. Cake flavor. Cake flavor, batter flavor. Ginger. Ginger cake? 
All right, we've got a challenge here before us. I don't know us. which one's the best. Are because you telling me that you think vanilla might be the best? Because I, I, I kind of agree. I know. It's How is that possible? Mm. They're so close, but you know what? I'm gonna do it. Icing is like room temperature mm. ice cream. I think we're gonna have to tie it because I think cream cheese is better on second thought. It's got everything vanilla has plus a slight tanginess. Uh, so we, a lot of, I think this was the big surprise for me, um, strawberry mist. If you're into strawberry, it's got a nice light flavor to it. This was the, this was the dark horse. And if you're in a mist, we can arrange someone to come spray it on you. And then, I mean, vanilla, vanilla and cream cheese, they just take the cake, but don't, for, don't sleep on the milk chocolate, y'all. It's good, it's good. <laughs> Can we see you tomorrow? What day is it? If you want to see some people who actually know what they're talking about when they talk about food, you know, in the mythical universe, you should go over to the Mythical Kitchen channel because uh, it is certified Betty Crocker's favorite, or at least the actress who played Betty Crocker on that radio program is her favorite YouTube channel. You're leaving us, go over there. Ketchup is a smoothie. Yeah, I put ice in my cereal, so what? That makes no sense. A hot dog is a sandwich. A hot dog is a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> what?